Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to cover Networking Real World Exercises course. This is a special course that we have designed for our premium members who are actually looking for more network related labs uh, that can come across uh, in interviews or actually when you land a job as a network engineer and you want to just practice more outside of the courses or the way we teach in courses because that can take a long time and uh, some uh, IT professionals may want to do more practice. And we can bring that because we have the labs and we want to use it to bring more realistic examples to you by using the real devices, not packet tracer, not some sort of virtual environment, just real routers and just how you're going to actually work inside a company. So we wanted to bring that to you in this course. This course will also help you with like interview questions because a lot of people when they uh, look for networking jobs, people may ask for VLAN, you know, switches, uh, the versions and things like that. Um, how do you troubleshoot, stuff like that. And, and that will also give you more confidence that, that if you work on these labs hands-on, then when you are uh, going to the interviews, you may have a good answers because you, may can, you can explain some of the labs even inside your interview. So as a premium member, when you go to your My Courses, uh, you can basically click on My Course. And here you can search Networking, Real World, or Exercises. This will show up like this, Networking, Real World, Exercises. If you don't see this uh, inside your My Courses and you searched it, uh, you still can find it, then uh, contact support at jobskillshare.org. We will send you a link and you can just click on it and it will show up immediately. So let's uh, get in and see how this uh, course looks like. So you see right here, um, uh, basically uh, these labs are not designed for someone who wants to become a network engineer from scratch. Like this is not a learning method for you to start a course and you're gonna learn something in sequence. For that, you have to go to the roadmaps and then you will start networking roadmaps if you are specifically going for networking skills. If you're new to IT, again, I'm just going to remind, even in this video, if somebody's taking this directly, if you're brand new to IT, you need to start with modern IT support query roadmap because you're going to learn everything uh, the fundamental way and then learn about DSCP, DNS, Active Directory, basic networking, IP addresses, and then you move on to transitioning skills course. This is actually a course inside this whole roadmap. And that is uh, a, a prerequisite for anybody that wants to move up from help desk because you need to learn uh, then that, uh, you know, the instructor's teaching everything in a, in a theory and example, theory, example, theory, example. So that's how you're going to learn that. If you want to go for servers, then you will pick this one. Or if you want to go for Cisco specific networking, more like a deep level networking skills, uh, very long course, more than 80 hours worth of labs, you're going to start from here then. And now this course that we have designed is for someone who have already done networking courses with us or somebody else, and they're pretty good at, at some of the basics, but they want to learn more on real devices. So now that is clear to you, you're going to go into this course and you see that it immediately starts with SSH Lab. So once you click on it, uh, an instructor will talk about uh, the lab environment it has already have a switches routers servers and multiple routers and switches are already connected so at this point we know that we assume that you already know how to uh, how the diagrams work or how basic connections works so when you go to this lab you're going to follow instructor and they will talk about real examples and then on real servers instructor will perform all of this lab uh, inside this uh, real devices for example, I'm showing you that instructor actually went into a, a, a rail switch or router, then went inside the the rail server and then used a putty to get into those uh, systems and, uh, and and configure the whole SSH lab. And that is exactly how you're going to be working inside a company where they have routers and switches inside a company and they have servers, virtual servers or physical servers. And then you use uh, some sort of device to connect to these uh, the, uh, switches and routers to troubleshoot them and manage it. So go ahead and finish all these labs right here. So if you're wondering which lab are we using, we have made it very easy for you. You just click on practice lab, uh, practice live networking. You click on this and you do need a premium membership. But now this is a very important tip. All of this information, the instructor uh, is showing in a video, you have to 
100% follow the same steps because it's not a part of a lab. It's not a part of like a supported lab. We're just using the devices because we you have access to it. You should definitely use it. But you cannot reach out to a support and say, okay, this instructor is using SSH lab and I'm trying to do the same thing, but it's not working. If you follow the exact same video, I think you should be you should be able to do that. But these this type of learning doesn't come with any support, even if you have premium membership. Now, premium membership uh, is well supported when it's when it's a lab designed for you to learn from the documentation, such as this one, which has its own uh, let's say uh, systems right here and everything. So if you click on next here, you see this is the the lab diagram. If you click on next next, and it will it will start. But we're not following the exercises over here. That's why we are saying that this is a real world custom based uh, things that we're doing for you as a member. We're spending that time to create more labs for you. But these are not part of any support so you cannot reach out to support here and start asking them question that why static is not working dynamic is not working if you follow the instructor you should be good if not then make sure you do your research and come to the communities and maybe ask the question but these are not supported so if you get a support great but uh, we're not uh, saying that you are you are going to get 100 percent support for this so just let me recap uh, once you open the lab remove the the left side because you don't need that open a new tab and then open a SSH lab or any other lab, watch the video fully. And if you want to follow, follow it step by step, open it in a new tab or a new monitor. In one screen, you should have a video so uh, where you, you see there's a video right here. And on another screen, you should have all the labs turned on. So then if you are following instructor and you want to learn from it, then you should do it that way. You have a lot of networking devices running in this one lab it's a lot of things a lot of routers a lot of switches a lot of servers and that gives you a real access to real hardware so it's going to give you a pretty good hands-on um, you know experience with the networking you should definitely use it with your networking uh, interviews networking projects and just get that uh, extra step uh, from somebody else who's just using packet tracer um, the last advice would be uh, make sure you do not reach out to the support here. They will not know anything about what we are doing here. They will not support it. So if you want to get a support, make sure you just join our communities, which is on our website. Go to jobscashare.org. On the bottom, there's Discord. Join the Discord, and then maybe you can ask these questions. There are many network engineers that can ask, answer uh, some of your questions or queries uh, related to these labs. So go ahead and, uh, you know, get your hands on this and get that hands on skills from this course.